Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn Daily Physics. Assalamu alaikum. So today you can see on your screen we are going to study photo multiplier. So what is a photo multiplier? From its name we can see it's consisting of two things. One is photo and the other one is multiplier. Photo means light and the multiplier means we are multiplying light. So the main purpose for the photo multiplier is that we calculate the no, low energy photons from this photo multiplier. How we are going to calculate low energy photons we will discuss now and then we will see what is the quantum efficiency for a photo multiplier. So proceeding to our lecture, first we have here you can write you can listen to me and write after you can write it in your own language so first of all a high energy photon comes and it strikes on an ionization track ionization track which ionizes and produce a low energy photon so a high energy photon it is a scintillator a scintillator a fluorescent material in which high energy photon stuck and it produces low energy photons these low energy photons cannot be detected directly so we have need to amplify it so this photo multiplier works as an amplifier here and this amplifies this low energy photon for the detection so how it works after this scintillator we go to the photo multiplier tube this is a photo multiplier tube in this photo multiplier tube we have a photo cathode here what is a photo cathode a photo cathode is a plate here on which a light or a photon hits and it produces it produces it generates electron just like a photodiode when a light strikes on it it produces electron it produces current electron flows through it so light strikes here low energy photon strikes on the photo cathode here in the multiplier it produces an electron this electron is accelerated toward from this electrode focusing electrode here it is it's been generated and it's accelerated in this direction here it hits a dynode a dynode is also a photo electrode you can say photo cathode it's also a photo cathode or photo cathode is a cathode which uh, produces electron for light a dynode is a substance or a material which when electron hits it produces if one electron hits it will produce two electrons so one electron hits here on the first dynode it will produce two electrons for example one electron comes here and it will produce two electron these two electrons will strike here and this will produce four electrons four electrons these four electrons will go in this direction and they will produce eight electrons these eight will go here and produce six, 16 electrons 16 32 64 they all are multiplied by two they are going they are doubling their self so from this they will multiply from the each dynode they will multiply the first electron from the from the photon from the cathode which is the first electron is the electron which is produced by this photon and this electron is known as primary electron so these the electrons which are produced by the dynodes are the secondary electron as these secondary electrons are multiplied and moving at the end they go this here here is the anode you can see this is an 
anode connected here to the connected po pointer at this anode they will be collected they are not moving further they will be collected here and from this they will move they will be collected out to the detector and detector the, there was a one electron here which cannot be detected but we we have an hundred of electrons here which can be easily detected now so what photomultiplier have done photomultiplier have multiplied the electrons here which has been generated from one radiation or from the low energy photon it was one electron and now it is thousands of electron hundred thousands of electrons which can be easily detected now we will see that what is a quantum efficiency so quantum efficiency if you talk about the efficiency what is an efficiency efficiency is output divided by input so in the output we can see we have number of photoelectrons number of photoelectrons these are the secondary electrons here number of photo electrons divided by the number of incident incident photon so the efficiency is output divided by the input in the output we are having we are having the electrons photo electron these electrons which are moving in that in that in this direction so we are collecting in the, in the output we are collecting a photo electrons where input our input is given here and this was our incident photon so we will say that if we have one photon here we will write one here and if we if we have 10 electrons photo electrons here then we will say it's 10 here so 10 divided by 1 we will get 10 or we will get 2 divided by 10 5 so from this we can calculate its quantum efficiency okay so this was our lecture today thank you very much for your time and see you in the next lecture